Something doesn't add up. With all that we know about how extreme and radical Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are, please help me understand the rationale behind those who claim to be Christian, conservative, or pro-life, and can vote for the Democrat Party. Help me understand this. It's one thing to say Donald Trump is personally offensive and you're not going to vote in this upcoming election. But to say Trump is so offensive that you're willing to abandon your convictions and faith and endorse a candidate whose policies are diametrically opposed to all you claim to believe in and value seems to be completely flawed logic. Am I missing something here? I'm David Fiorazzo and this is Christ and Culture. Cognitive dissonance is when a person's behavior doesn't line up with their beliefs. The dictionary definition is this, the state of having inconsistent thoughts, beliefs, or attitudes, especially as relating to behavioral decisions and attitude change. If you believe God's word, but when it comes to voting, you go against what the Bible teaches, you are in contradiction, my friend, which causes internal stress. Now, a person claims to be one thing, but then acts just the opposite. So just because you can't stand President Trump, are you really willing to allow the removal of God, the dismantling of the Constitution, the expansion of abortion, discrimination against Christians, and America to be weakened morally, economically, and militarily? Wow. If you're wondering how so many people who consider themselves spiritual, religious, or even Christian can vote for a party whose platform is, in my opinion, demonic, understand the cult-like nature of modern liberalism. Political liberalism is one thing. We know exactly where Democrats and others on the far left stand by the politics they endorse, and other than deceivers such as Nancy Pelosi, they make no claim to know the same God we do or live by biblical principles. But religious liberals are the dangerous ones because they either are ignorant of what the Bible actually teaches or they generally believe the same things as the far left and yet claim to be Christian. See the problem here? This is confusing to lots of people. Now, to prove my point, I just learned about an actual group called Pro-Life Evangelicals for Biden. Hello. Talk about cognitive dissonance and denial. Joe Biden has repeatedly stated he would, quote, pass legislation making Roe the law of the land, which lines up with the Democrat platform to repeal the Hyde Amendment and codify Roe v. Wade. Now, they say other issues outweigh the right to life for babies, but in their conscience, they know abortion ends pre-born human lives and is unethical, if not pure evil. They say poverty kills millions every year. So does a lack of health care, smoking, racism. Their website states that, quote, unless we quickly make major changes, devastating climate change will kill tens of millions. And you can prove this how? In an article at AFA.net, Dr. Michael Brown says this, I agree that poverty kills, but Trump's economic policies have helped alleviate poverty, not accelerate poverty. As for lack of health care, both parties want good health care for all Americans, but they simply differ on the best way to achieve that. As for climate change and what should be done about that, there is intense scientific debate about the subject. Posing as evangelicals, they go so far to say this, even as we can, quote, even as we continue to urge different policies on abortion, we urge evangelicals to elect Joe Biden as president. The bottom line is that by ignoring the shedding of innocent blood, they are so out of touch with the Bible and reality that their position just cannot be justified, especially in light of the fact we now have the strongest pro-life president in history, period. Their form of Christianity is based upon feelings instead of the authority of Scripture. They have replaced biblical teachings on sin, hell, repentance, and salvation 
with good works, social programs, and community service. One result is many in our society live as if the Ten Commandments are ten suggestions. Barner research revealed that only 34% of American adults believe moral truth is absolute, with the lowest percentage of believers being between 18 and 25 years old. Most liberals deny the deity of Christ, the fact that Jesus is the only way. They preach a different gospel from what was preached by the apostles concerning the necessity of Christ's atoning death, and they teach a social gospel in its place. Now, some liberal churches go so far as to embrace homosexuality as an alternative lifestyle, while the Bible repeatedly condemns its practice. Now, the basis for much of their theology is that there is some inner goodness in man that does not require a rebirth by the Holy Spirit through faith in Christ. By denying our sin nature and the fact that Jesus died so that we might be forgiven and live, liberals create a false God according to their own liking in their own image. Baffled by the illogical, absurd, and self-defeating stance taken by professing Christians and conservatives who endorse a Joe Biden, author Peter Heck said this, Please, someone help me understand the argument that Trump is not conservative enough, so to fix that, we should cast a vote for abortion on demand, rifle banning, the Green New Deal, D.C. statehood, economy crippling lockdowns, tax hikes, and liberal Supreme Court stacking. I don't claim to be a smart man, but I need to understand in what universe that approach even borders on making sense. I agree. Friends, this is a worldview issue, one without God and focusing on control and power versus one that includes God and focuses on religious freedom. The Bible says, for no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid which is Christ, Jesus. That's 1 Corinthians 3.11. If your faith is established on the word of truth, the gospel, you won't have to deal with the hypocrisy of cognitive dissonance. Please encourage people to look at policies rather than get hung up on personalities and examine your own heart. Know the platforms. And again, please vote November 3rd. God bless you and keep speaking the truth about things that matter. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Most of you know our show is being censored by big tech. It's hidden really on YouTube, Facebook. Sadly, this impacts our long-term ability to produce the show. So we're tackling the problem by launching our brand new Patriot Club. Look at this beauty, right? For a $99 tax deductible donation, you'll not only keep our show going, but we'll ship you this stainless steel tumbler etched with the American flag and freedom never tasted so good. Visit patriotclub.us to show your support. That's patriotclub.us. Thank you and God bless.